Welcome to another video of Mining for Beginners tutorial series Object Inheritance. In the last video I have taught you about objects, what they are and how to use them. In this video we will expand on that knowledge by teaching you object inheritance. What is object inheritance? Just like how in real life fruit is the parent of apples, oranges, bananas, etc. They all share some similar attributes. Or say in video games you have enemies, either to shoot, jump on them, all of these enemies have something in common, by being your enemies, trying to kill you, be an obstacle. Now, every game has many types of enemies. Like in Mario, we have Koopas that walk, Koopas that jump, and Koopas that fly. All of these are the children of the Koopa parent, because Koopas drop their shell when they die, while most other enemies don't. This Koopa is also a child of the enemy parent, because it's hostile to you. The same can be done in Nim. Now note that every object in Nim can only inherit from a singular object meaning you cannot specify that some object inherit is a child of, say, a fruit and an enemy. You must instead have an object hierarchy with enemy at the top, fruit inheriting from enemy and thus creating an enemy fruit object. Now to demonstrate this, here we have a simple object type called person1. This person1 cannot inherit or have any other object inherit from him, because we must first enable inheritance. This is done with the object of syntax. And the topmost object, the parent you want other objects to inherit from, must first inherit from root obj. So object of root obj. So here I have copy pasted the above normal object and changed it from person one to person and change object to of root obj to enable inheritance. Now that we have a parent object, let's make a child that we'll inherit from. Now here I have created a new object, a child of object person called student. And we did that with the object of syntax of person and gave it its own field of id as integer. Now this student child object will inherit name a string and age as integer as well as have its own field id as integer. Here I am demonstrating this inheritance by making two new variables for John and for Eve. John is a object person which has two fields, name and age. We set this to John and 20. And then we have student, which is the child of person, which gets its own extra field of ID, which we set to 1033. Then we echoed both of these variables and we got name John ages 20 for John and then eve 19 and the extra field id of 1033 for eve the student this is how inheritance works in you final words you can use the inheritable pragma to introduce new object roots apart from root obj but that is the subject of another video okay that's it for this video thanks for watching like and subscribe if you liked it you can also support me on patreon if you had any problems with any part of the video let me know in the comment section the code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun!